Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and today we'll be doing the unboxing of the Sony Ericsson Live with Walkman Android phone. This is not a new phone, this phone was launched approximately about four months ago and I did not review this phone at that time. But in the last one month, I've got so many requests to review this phone. So just because of you guys, I'm going to review this phone. And uh, this is the packaging, this is the Indian packaging, hence you see the Air Cell logo over here. And uh, let me just go towards this side and and it says that what do we get we get premium uh, headsets with this and we also get cloud storage via box that's 50 gb of cloud storage and it also says it has some preloaded content that is sony music and uh, let me show you the pricing and uh, the retail pricing listed here is 15,899 but you can get this phone in the local market for approximately about 14,000 Indian rupees so let us quickly open up this box and it is sealed so let me break this seal and I want to thank Faisal communications for providing this unit for review also this phone will get the ice cream sandwich update pretty soon and we need to lift this to open the same and it says green heart i guess this is the phone we'll keep this to the side and let's first see what else do we get in this box and uh, and this is the standard charger what else we get a bundled headset and this is an in-ear headset and and this is the usb cable that will be used for charging and syncing that's the micro usb to usb so let's keep all those things to the side and let us take out the phone itself and, uh, this let me zoom in and first let me give you a physical overview this phone sports a 3.2 inch screen that with that sports a resolution of 320 by 480 pixels we also get a front facing camera with the same proximity center uh, but the front facing camera is just a vga and on the bottom we have one physical home button and these two are the uh, capacitive type buttons also uh, the phone is very comfortable to hold and but it is a little bit thick uh, for such a small phone but it, again it's very comfortable to hold and let's go towards the top and on the top we have this walkman logo and we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack and the on off button and if we move to this side we have the volume rocker pretty tactile and we also get a a dedicated camera shutter button and on the bottom we have uh, a hole for the lanyard and the microphone is over here nothing else and on this side we get the micro usb uh, slot that will be that you can use for charging the phone and if we go towards the back again we have this uh, walkman logo over here and we actually have two speaker grills and uh, i've heard the uh, speaker quality on this phone is pretty good and we have a 5 megapixel uh, rear facing camera and this can shoot videos uh, in 720p HD and also we have LED flash actually I forgot we also have these content in the box that's the battery that's the EP500 battery and I believe that's a 1200 milliampere battery we also get this Sony Ericsson warranty certificate and it clearly says that applicable for the products purchased in India only and we have important information uh, GPS emergency call etc the radio frequency SAR ratings etc and and one more FCC uh, statement and this model is also known as Sony Ericsson WT19i so let us quickly pop in the battery and the back cover opens and let me just show you the, the same before uh, popping in the battery and we also have a micro SD card slot and this phone comes pre-populated with a 4GB micro SD card so that's nice and uh, and we need to insert a sim in this slot and we put the battery here and we pop back the cover the back cover is pretty tight actually and uh, it's a little bit difficult to take it out and I, I had a hard time taking the back cover out and let's see if we can power on this phone if it has enough juice so I've just uh, hit the power button and it looks nothing is not nah, it's loading now 
so this is the first uh, ever boot for this phone say sony ericsson and the processor in this phone is a one gigahertz processor and it also has a dedicated gpu so that's the sony ericsson animation you get and yes it booted pretty quickly actually and this runs again the timescape ui that's uh, found on most of the sony android phones and i'm going to select english as of now oh my god um, i'll try to just skip all those things the initial setup i will set up my wireless network later on i can sign in with google i'll do that later i don't want to synchronize right now and i'm not also going to register the phone right away and it says the phone is ready so this is what it looks talk and we actually have five home screens one two three four five and let me the phone looks pretty responsive actually and uh, these are the quick icons uh, this four corners so right now the phone looks pretty responsive uh, i'll be doing an in-depth review of this phone pretty quickly for you guys and this is the dialer i think so i need to first uh, lo log in with my google account so i'll do that so this is the dialer and let me open the notification tray it's a basic uh, notification tray nothing that uh, too great about it and uh, and i also think that this pinch gesture works on all these phones so yeah and this shows all the widgets that are running so uh, this is the quick unboxing for the Sony Ericsson Live with Walkman phone. Let us try to play this. What is this? Oh my god! This has to be the loudest uh, speaker phone I have seen on any Android phone. It was way too loud. Let me click on this. And it has some uh, content preloaded actually. Yeah, this is the. So I'm going to pause it because I don't want uh, to fall in copyright issues. But again, I have to say the speaker quality is just outstanding as of now. I'll be also. And as this is a Walkman phone, again, I expect the audio quality to be very good. And I think so. If you just hit this uh, Walkman icon straight away, it yeah, it takes you to the music app. Oh my God. And it is very loud. Even in just half volume, it is way louder than uh, most of the Android phones. I'll be doing a quick review of this phone shortly. So if you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe to the same. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com, and I hope to see you in my next video.